Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us both the 38 and the 44 millimeter Breitling Endurance Pro. As promised, we'll go over the specs of both of these and uh, just kind of take them through their paces here and let you decide maybe which one would be best for you. So again, the 38 millimeter, I measured 39.1 above the top pusher diagonally across to the widest point of that bright light case. 39.1 compared to 45.4 on the, uh, the larger 44 millimeter millimeter model 38.4 diagonally across the bezel versus 44.5 across the bezel on the larger model and then the crystals 28.7 from three to nine versus 33.3 .3. so um as you expect uh, pretty significantly larger um, just given the specs there of the case um the case widths however are pretty similar uh you have 12.5 on the 38 versus 12.8 on the 44 and because it's such longer lug to lug i think it even looks visually thinner than that, that small difference so hopefully that gives you an idea of what that would uh maybe wear like on wrist and i will throw these on wrist here shortly 45.7 lug tip to lug tip uh so that kind of sweet spot for maybe some smaller watches that 44 to 46 right at 45.7 lug tip to lug tip and then on the larger 52.5 you have an 18 millimeter lug width that tapers to 16 on the 38 versus a 22 to 20 on the 44. Both of them have the Tang style bright light uh, buckles. Both of them 100 meters of water resistance. Both of them using quartz thermocompensated uh, movements. Uh, on the 38, it's the B83. On the 44, it's the B82. And then weight 46.1 grams light on the 38. Uh, and then 63.7 on the 44 millimeter model. Price point, slight premium on the larger model at $3,400 versus $3,250 on the 38. So there are your specs. Again, you have uh, signed non screw down crowns. And again, the whole case, that bright light material, lighter than titanium. And let me throw these on risk to give you an idea how these wear. Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. I said it on the video with these 38s that uh, put out a little bit ago that the straps themselves are a little bit short. If you have a seven inch or larger wrist, but like the smaller size, uh, just make sure the strap fits your wrist. Uh, I have not looked up to see if they offer them offer larger straps uh, for this model yet or not. However, that would be something to consider if you're in the market for the smaller model and have a little bit of a larger wrist. So there's the 38. I'll show you the 30 or the 44 here quick. Definitely more strap available on this one. I'd almost say too much if I'm being honest, but um, it works. And so if you ask me, because I'm sure someone's going to, which size is best for me? I'll be honest, the, between the two of these, I actually like the 38 a little bit more. The 44 is just, uh, I hate to say it, it's more of a dinner plate on my wrist. Um, you know, it is light, so it is wearable, but uh, the 38 between the two would be my pick. Would love to see Breitling do a 40, um, maybe even a 41, put something in between or in the middle of these as an option. Uh, I love options, as many of you do as well. Uh, but uh, overall, again, something just your grab and go pick up and go your sport leisure as brightling refers to it let me hit the lights for you quick i'll give you a loom shot of both of these as always greatly appreciate you viewing if there's anything we can do for you anything at all contact information is in the description thanks again for viewing and we'll see you in the next video